The Gypsy King Tyson Fury, a boxing record of 33 fights, 32 wins, 23 coming by knockout with only one draw, which was very controversial. Fury has fought many great fighters. His fights with Deontay Wilder, Dillian White and Vladimir Klitschko have put him up there with the boxing greats. In his recent fight against Dillian White, he fought in front of a record-breaking 94,000 people at Wembley. He was able to stop Dillian White in six rounds, but there was always a boxer that Fury had to fight. His name is Anthony Joshua, the former two-time heavyweight champion of the world, but he's just come off two brutal losses against Usyk, but his name is still up there with the best. With being one of the best ticket sellers in the sport, AJ is always going to get the big fights, but his fight with Fury is definitely going to be one to remember and one that is going to be very entertaining but let's break down how Tyson Fury will be able to beat Anthony Joshua keep the fight long being the taller fighter Tyson Fury needs to make sure he keeps this fight at his range which is long distance by keeping Joshua to his range Fury will be able to confuse Joshua and Fury will be able to land his powerful straight punches and this will prevent Joshua from coming in and landing his uppercuts and hooks. Fury needs to cleverly throw his jab a lot as well because his jab will set up these powerful straight right hands that he possesses as well as prevent Joshua from coming in close. They say a right hand can take you around the block but a good stiff jab can take you around the world and Tyson Fury in my eyes has the best jab in the heavyweight division he needs to use this punch in order to beat anthony joshua the use of combinations anthony joshua is a very very powerful boxer if he lands a punch clean on a fighter chances are he will knock you out if tyson fury relies solely on single power punches he is going to get countered brutally by AJ what Fury needs to do is that Fury needs to land his quick combinations and move out of range by throwing combinations it's going to be very hard for AJ to counter him because there's going to be a barrage of punches being thrown also combination punching gives a boxer a higher chance of landing a clean punch on his opponent Fury already is an excellent combination boxer he needs to throw these crisp accurate and very quick combinations on AJ as this will help him and aid him to victory. Just quickly if you really want to improve as a boxer why don't you get your boxing training sessions analyzed by me. These analyzed clips are going to be very similar to the ones that are in my videos but they are going to be based solely on you to help you become the best boxer you can become. Here is my email address if you are interested then please message me and let's get started okay back to the video ring generalship whether you are a front foot or a back foot fighter having your opponent fight your fight is what you want and this is where ring generalship comes in tyson fury has the ability to fight both on the front and the back foot he has a great ability also in controlling the ring in the wilder fights as well as the fight against dillian white tyson fury had the upper hand because he knew how to control the ring and how to make his opponent fight his fights. He needs to have control of the ring against Anthony Joshua as this will pressurize Joshua and force him into making a mistake in which Tyson Fury can capitalize on and land his powerful punches. Using the weight advantage. Without a doubt Tyson Fury is going to be weighing much heavier than Anthony Joshua on the night. He needs to use this weight to his advantage. By this he needs to lean his weight onto Anthony Joshua. And what this will do is this will actually tire Joshua out. This is because Joshua will put so much energy into pushing Tyson Fury away. Look at Fury's fight against Dillian White. He was putting his weight onto Dillian White with Dillian White being much smaller than Tyson Fury. He was gassing himself up because he was trying to push this heavy man away so he could land his punches. By doing this Tyson Fury gasses his opponents out which also leads to openings for Tyson Fury to land 
his powerful combinations. He needs to use this clever tactic against Anthony Joshua. Counter punching. At times, Anthony Joshua can get very wild. Against Andy Ruiz in the first fight, Joshua got caught when he was swinging wildly trying to finish Andy Ruiz and Andy Ruiz was able to counter him very cleverly and that very punch was the reason why Ruiz was able to beat Joshua on that night. Tyson Fury is an excellent counter puncher. What Fury needs to do is he needs to time his counters very cleverly. So as Joshua comes in to swing or comes in wildly to attack, Fury needs to use his height, his reach to counter Joshua so he can have the upper hand in the fight. <laughs>